the famous Oak Island legend, six people have died, then a seventh has to die. In search of the treasure. In search of the treasure, and that's when all will be revealed. Oh, that is a strong signal. It's there. It's right there. It's right there. What the heck is this thing? Show me it again, mate. From a chance meeting of two like-minded college kids who shared a dream of hunting for treasure on exotic islands filled with secrets and booby traps, to a lifetime spent developing the financial ability and the skills to embark on such a fulfilling adventure, here is the shocking truth about what happened to Craig Tester on Oak Island. We're back to the interesting tale that is developing on the little island sitting off the south coast of Nova Scotia. That's right, we're talking about Oak Island, the captivating treasure hunting spot that has seen the constant arrival of men who have been looking for the treasure that is rumored to be hidden there. For more than 200 years, these men have come from all corners of the earth, hoping that they would be the one that would find this life-changing fortune. Unfortunately, these efforts have been in vain even though these men had sacrificed everything that they had just to be foiled by the many booby traps laid on the island, as well as the lack of information concerning the elusive treasure. That is why today, we find that the likes of the Legina brothers and their crew are now taking on the challenge. For more than a decade now, they have been searching for this elusive treasure with their tried and trusted crew on Oak Island. Yes, it's exciting, but I want to be absolutely certain we've hit the vault. I'm positive at this point we've hit what we cord. Whatever that is, we're about to find out if it's the vault or not. However, as disappointing as their inability to bring this 229-year treasure hunt to an end may be to the team, they may be even more disappointed to find Craig Tester, the team's expert with drilling and resistivity, may be about to make his exit from the show. It's all caving in now. Oh, he's lost a ton of holes. He's lost a ton. Do we need to see anything more there? Once Marty Legina's college roommate, he eventually followed the Legina brothers to the mysterious island so that he could help them with their research and their scouting and planning of new dig operations on Oak Island. Now it seems as though after all these years spent searching for treasure, he would not be there when the Legina brothers find the mysterious treasure of Oak Island. What could have made the engineer come to this decision to leave the show at what could be such a crucial point in the search for the Oak Island hidden treasure? To be honest, will they be able to find the treasure without him? How exactly did he even become so important to the team? After all, it isn't just enough to be the boss's college roommate, is it? Well, this entire story began on the 14th of January 2014. This is when the History Channel and the A&E Network first broadcast their fascinating new TV show to the world. That's right, that's when the Legina brothers hit our screens thanks to the Curse of Oak Island TV show. For a little more than a decade now, we've watched as the brothers, along with the likes of Dan and Dave Blankenship, Jack Begley, Dan Henske, Charles Barkhouse, Peter Fornetti, and of course, Craig Tester took on the Oak Island 229-year-old treasure hunting challenge. Who can blame them? We all know about the alluring treasure hunting mystery of Oak Island. After all, that's what made so many people make their way to the mysterious island, despite nobody even knowing what this treasure was exactly. What made the treasure hunt even more interesting, however, was the discovery of several relics and artifacts that captured the imagination of those looking to learn the answers to the mysteries of this fascinating island. For example, there was the mysterious stone that was unearthed during one of the expeditions to find Oak Island's hidden treasure. What made the stone stand out was the fact that it was etched with strange markings that the finders could not decode. As if that wasn't wild enough, these treasure hunting explorers also came across an elaborate network of tunnels that puzzled those that had the privilege of finding them. Who could have built these tunnels? What was their motivation? Perhaps most importantly, what would they find within these elaborate tunnels? Well, if they wanted answers to these questions, they would have to get through some of Oak Island's most impressive and most dangerous booby traps. That was the only way they may get to the promised land of hidden treasure. However, you can imagine how this made the treasure hunt a long and hard process that many could not endure for too long. That's perhaps why you should appreciate the efforts of the Legina brothers. It's people like them who have had to deal with the many issues that come with taking on the mystery of Oak Island. Oi, come on up. All right, Rick, we got the data. We need to put our heads together and see what the heck this means. 
Although these factors add an air of mystery and allure to the treasure hunt, we're sure our treasure hunters could do without it. That said, we know that the Legina brothers and their crew are up for the challenge. Well, maybe with the exception of Craig Tester. It must feel strange for him and the rest of the team because they'd have thought he'd be among one of the greatest minds who was hoping that they could be the ones to bring this 200 plus year mystery to an end. After all, many of these historians and scholars have made their way to the island so that they could try and solve the many mysteries there. Unfortunately, despite the time and resources spent by these scholars and treasure hunters, the treasure remains elusive. All one can truly say is that all this seems to have done is to make the treasure hunt seem more fascinating to those watching as the story develops. Unable to come up with the answers to the treasure's location, these minds have tried to find some answers by figuring out who this treasure may truly belong to. Some have theorized that the treasure may have belonged to one famous pirate or the other. Others are of the opinion that this supposed massive fortune hidden somewhere on Oak Island may be so elusive because it belonged to the Knights Templar, the medieval Christian military organization. Some say it may go even further back and may even be more mysterious because some of these people believe that relics such as the Ark of the Covenant may be among the treasures that everybody is searching for right now. As fascinating as all this may be, the cryptic nature of the mysteries of Oak Island can be frustrating, especially as even the land doesn't seem to want to give away any of the mysteries of the hypnotizing island. Despite feeling like they're searching for a needle in a haystack, one would find that this mystery and difficulty is what seems to draw some of these treasure hunters to the island. Perhaps it's the reason why many have invested so much in the search for this treasure on Oak Island since the mid-19th century. For example, there was the 200-foot bridge that was built on the island so that they could connect the western point on Crandall's Candles Point to the rest of the island. This was so that treasure hunters could ship the heavy gear and equipment that was needed to carry out their extensive excavation exercises on the island. This reminds us of the great treasure hunter that was Dan Blankenship. Looking to learn more about the island so that he could get to the bottom of this treasure hunting mystery, Dan decided to work with David Tobias, another avid treasure hunter. However, things changed in 2019 when the Michigan Group was formed. This was important because the Michigan Group was made up of major stakeholders in the island such as the Legina Brothers. Together with Craig Tester, the Legina brothers pushed in with their search for the treasure of Oak Island. Following the formation of this super treasure hunting group, the next order of business was to approach David Tobias for some of the land that he owned on the island. Seems fair enough. That way, they will have the free right to explore that portion of the island however they please. To those observing, this was a clear intention to go as deep into their search as possible. That may be the only way they could prevail. This seemed to be the order of the day as the team dived deep into the search for treasure on the island. It was during this time that Craig Tester developed into one of the most important members of the team. This came to him after working with several important personalities such as the Legina brothers. Together, they continued with their quest to search for this elusive treasure, even if it meant dedicating their entire lives to it. This proved to be Craig Tester's time to shine as his expertise in the use of the state-of-the-art equipment and modern technology made him an integral part of the team. He impressed the team as he used the equipment to study the uneven terrain of the island. That was how he picked up on some of the most interesting structures and artifacts that have been found on the show. Eventually, he found that this made him one of the most crucial members of the show, to the point where he was made a co-star and a producer of the show. How else would you reward him from developing from an important factor in the search for Oak Island's treasure to actually becoming one of the most compelling parts of the story being told to the world? It must be said that the character of the man is shown by the fact that he did not let this get to his head. In fact, his commitment to the show seems to have gotten stronger over time as he continued to aid the team in their efforts to get to the bottom of Oak Island's mysteries. Apart from this commitment to getting to the bottom of this mystery, his background as an engineer has been crucial to his role in the team. Where they came from, that'll help potentially determine who was here. Yeah. So. Eager to get to the bottom of this mystery with the rest of the team, he always used this background to give a different perspective that the team would have lacked if they didn't have someone of his experience and expertise. Consequently, Craig emerged as one of the major strategists in the team. Thanks to him, 
they could plan on how to approach certain complex issues in the most reasonable manner possible. Some may not know, but this is probably why he may have acquired so much power behind the scenes of the show. Some fans may not be aware about this, but his commitment to treasure hunting goes even beyond a year of Oak Island TV show. Some may even say it's because of such qualities that he matches with the rest of the crew on the TV show, because he shows the same amount of commitment that they show when it comes to treasure hunting. Apart from being an integral part of the strategy and planning on the show, Craig has also proven to be a great companion to the Legina brothers. Thanks to their chemistry, the fans can watch with fascination as the trio try to solve the mystery of Oak Island together. He can thank his path that was chosen when he still lived back home in Glendale, California. As a young man, he chose this path that would blend his technical skills with a chance college link and his love of hunting for treasure that he had ever since he was a little boy, just like his friends, the Legina brothers. As he grew up, he decided to attend Delta Upsilon College so that he could focus on his engineering degree. It was during these years that he met Marty Legina because as we mentioned earlier, they were put together as roommates by the school. This chance meeting will lead to a treasure hunting adventure that should have lasted a lifetime. That said, they must enjoy the years spent laying the foundation for their shared love for treasure hunting. This allowed a strong friendship to develop between the pair, and that may be the one thing that may last a lifetime. After all, they remained chums even after college. Although a young tester had dreamed of one day becoming a professional wrestler, he'd find that his life lay elsewhere. As time went on, he'd have to leave his wrestling gear behind so that he could explore a career in the oil sector. Together with his college roommate, Tester will find success thanks to their combined talents. Soon, they'd find that the oil sector would become an important factor in their lives, especially as it came with some significant financial advantages to the pair. Upon finding this success, the pair were able to take advantage of their financial standings by founding a corporation together. This would prove to be another lucrative partnership, because they'd find some considerable success in this venture as well. One would think that they'd be satisfied with finding success in the oil sector, but over time, they found that they just couldn't let go of their treasure hunting dreams. Soon, they found that they couldn't ignore the thrill of solving puzzles and exploring the unknown so that they could emerge with that long-lost treasure. Soon, the pair couldn't help but find each other once more so that they could maybe fulfill this burning desire. It must be said that their collaboration still goes beyond the treasure hunting adventures of Oak Island. For example, they had also come together so that they could establish the wind turbine firm known as Heritage Sustainable Energy. One would think that the pair had the Midas touch because this company eventually became the largest wind turbine manufacturer in all of Michigan. One can now see how Craig is more than just an engineer. He's also a dedicated environmentalist who is dedicated to being ecologically responsible while also maintaining sustainable business methods in a field that seems to constantly disrupt the planet's activities. Apart from having some ownership of Heritage Sustainable Energy, Tester also seems to have some stake in Oak Island. This shows that he was also eager to make a financial investment in the island, while also showcasing how he was personally dedicated to the island and uncovering its many secrets, especially the one that involved the search for treasure on the island. Heritage Sustainable Energy wasn't the end of the road for this duo. Over time, the pair also went on to invest in Oak Island Tours and Terra Energy. Terra Energy, a company that seemed to focus on the discovery and exploration of natural gas resources in Michigan, proved to be another success that the pair would share. Now everyone could see that the pair were savvy businessmen. With a strengthened financial standing thanks to the ownership of Terra Energy and Oak Island Tours, as well as Heritage Sustainable Energy, one can see how the pair are joined by the hip as their revenue resources continue to expand. And that's all without their joint participation in the Curse of Oak Island TV show. With a net worth about $5 million, however, it may show that Craig may be able to get things done on his own too. It is clear that fans may love Tester's impact on the TV show, but the full extent of his ability may not be privy to them. Craig does more than searching for treasure on the show. The fans may not be aware of this, but Tester has another critical role that involves ensuring that each and every other member of the team and the crew is safe from harm as they search for treasure on the island. 
This means that he has to find out if certain parts of the ground of the island are safe for digging, so that they do not end up crashing and burning somewhere they cannot offer any help or rescue. Thankfully, he has the knowledge that can help the team make the right decisions when it comes to developing their strategy for the treasure hunt. Making sure that the team remains safe and cautious must be a frustrating process, especially if you have some hard-headed people on the team. However, it must be said that Tester had always maintained a cool demeanor while he's been on the show. At least that was until a memorable moment when Tester was seen losing his temper on the show. This proved to display some of the complexity within the relationship of those searching for treasure together on the island. This has made fans think that there may be more to the treasure of Oak Island that meets the eye. Maybe that's why tempers are reaching boiling points on the island. Some of these fans believe that it may be because the treasure may belong to Willem Shakespeare, who hid some of his unpublished work on the island. Wild, but somehow this adds more flavor to the treasure hunting mystery of Oak Island. However, this opinion must have changed when the team came across a fragment during season 5 of the show. Fascinated yet confused by the discovery of this fragment, the team sent it to a lab so that some experts could give the fragment a look over. Seeing you. Hi, how are you? We have something okay. here I think you're going to find quite okay. interesting, actually. A piece of jewelry of some sort. Over time, these experts realized that they were looking at a leather object that may have some parchment attached to it. Could this be a notebook binding? Whether or not it was, you could see that this discovery sparked some excitement within the crew. What were the chances of discovering a parchment or even a notebook that could give them more insights into the history of this fascinating island? As you can imagine, the guys were excited. Before long, the team was soon left in awe of what Tester thought about the parchment. After giving it a look, he said that the artifact may belong to Sir William Shakespeare. Could it be possible? How could such a well-grounded individual come up with such a grand idea? I mean, sure, there are the rumors, yes, but what were the odds that the Great Bard even knew of this little island off Nova Scotia? The mere notion that the hidden treasure even goes beyond gold and silver to include such wonderful artifacts as the unpublished works of Sir William Shakespeare may be too interesting to believe. Upon hearing Tester's theory, some fans ate up the idea that this may belong to the great playwright. However, others struggled to digest such an outlandish notion, especially when it came from a man they believed to follow a pragmatic approach to things most of the time. Well, they would just have to come to terms with it, while Tester also deals with his dreams beyond that of finding treasure on Oak Island. Ever the family man, Tester dreams of spending more time with his family whom he loves and adores. Together with Rebecca, his wife of many years, Craig has been able to find success thanks to the support of a loving partner, and their journey together stands as a very important part of his life. A father to all their children, including the two from her previous marriage, Craig has proven to be a great patriarch to the family. He even allows the children to make an appearance on the show as they attempt to get involved with the search for treasure. His youngest son, Dave Tester, who suffered from a life-threatening disease from birth, has proven to be an endearing part of this show as he joined his father on this search for treasure on the island despite his medical condition. Such is the love for treasure hunting which seems to be in the family's blood. With any luck, his father will continue to show his love for treasure hunting by remaining with the team to solve the many mysteries of Oak Island. From a chance meeting of two like-minded college kids who shared a dream of hunting for treasure on exotic islands filled with secrets and booby traps to a lifetime spend, developing the financial ability and the skills to embark on such a fulfilling adventure. This is the shocking truth about what happened to Craig Tester on Oak Island.